It's rotten, it's toxic. I didn't get the biggest inhale of it because I put my mask on real quick, but it ain't pretty. It's bad, it's real bad. I can't believe that we're not in an industrial area. We're in the great outdoors near a big river. Big out, oh, it's terrible, terrible. I'm here to see the environmental damage that's been done by Big Sugar. My name's Kenny Hinkle Jr. I fight for my community. I'm president of BullSugar.org. I'm a father, I'm, I'm a husband. I have a 13 year old daughter that was born and raised here in Martin County. This is my backyard. If, if somebody was polluting your backyard, you'd stand up. You can't just dump your crap in my backyard and expect me not to stand up and fight for it. We know that we have a political problem that needs a political solution. We have all the science, all the hydrology. We know what the problem is. It's a corrupt, broken system of politicians that favor agriculture instead of human interest. We're about to go see the horror of all horrors. We're walking closer to this canal that goes right out to an inlet. It smells awful. And there you see it. Hard to imagine any sea life surviving this. It's gonna stink, it's gonna be nasty, it's disgusting, it, and this is the toxic Petri dish that's turned that, of my community. This is happening to my community. It's unacceptable. In what third world nation would this be acceptable? If you could pan down and look at this right now and show the world. Oh my God. It's absolutely disgusting. It smells, it reeks to high heaven. I've never smelled anything like this before. And, and thanks Central Marine for letting us come out here today because they, they're ready to go home and close the shop because they can't do any business. And let's also thank Debbie Wasserman Schultz and all the politicians that take care of Big Sugar for bringing us this catastrophe. Exactly. I just saw the, the algae bloom right here at the marina. It's awful. It stinks to the high heavens. You breathe it for 10 minutes and you feel like you want to gasp for air. And I don't see how any sea life can survive underneath this algae, in the middle of this algae. And the algae starts right here, but it's very thick here in, in the marina, but it goes all the way across the river. I've been around water all my life. I grew up right there on a bay and this is awful. I've never seen anything like it. And it's brought to us by politicians like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who've been taking a lot of money from big sugar interests, big corporations. And she's been protecting them, allowing them to pollute for years. And it's caught up. You can't kick the can down the road that long. We've run out of road. This is 4th of July weekend. And we're killing our tourist economy. We're killing it with toxic algae from Lake Okeechobee. So you can kind of see the little particles sitting on the top right here. That's blue-green algae right there. Those little dots, not the white ones, but the, the smaller ones. That's a single cell organism, cyanobacteria. It's floating on top of the water. Kenny, it's manatee country, huh? Yeah, I mean, imagine the manatees out there trying to breathe this, drink it, live in it. Imagine the dolphin. Imagine the fish. Imagine the birds. This is affecting all of us. We're at the St. Lucie Locks, where the C-44 Canal from Lake Okeechobee meets the St. Lucie River. The, the massive amount of water coming through the C-44 into the St. Lucie River 
is catastrophic an entire economy and an ecosystem. You gotta see this, believe it. And this is reduced discharge. You are reduced to discharge. This is all toxic blue-green algae from Lake Okeechobee. So these manatees are stuck here at the St. Lucie locks until they open and let them downstream or upstream. You can see the prop scars on them over there. Okay. And they're, and, and they're, they're in, in the, the midst, they're stuck in this blue-green algae and can't get out of it. We can't swim at the beach. We can't swim in the river. We can't go to the sandbar because of this toxic blue-green algae that's destroying everything. And here our manatees are choked in the middle of this. Sugar is blocking an opportunity to restore the river grass. And they buy every politician, Democrat, Republican, Independent, everyone they can get a hold of, they buy. They throw their money around, federally subsidized money, <laughs> via the sugar subsidies. They throw that around to buy off the politicians to prevent a permanent solution that we need here, east, west, and south of Lake Okeechobee. We need a leader. We need a politician that's willing to lead and, and not be beholden to special interests. I've heard a guy named Tim Canova.